the Breakfast Club, bitches. Donkey of the day. With Charlemagne the God. I don't know why y'all keep letting him get y'all like this. <sighs> well, Duval, Donkey of the Day for Tuesday, January 24th, goes to Governor Ron DeSantis in the Florida Department of Education. First of all, I would like to say I don't like this headline I'm seeing on CNN. The headline says Florida gives its reasons for rejecting proposed AP African American Studies course. <clears throat> it's not the state of Florida. Okay, it's government officials who represent the state of Florida. But what does your Uncle Charla always tell you about Florida? The craziest people in America come from the Bronx and all of Florida. But this isn't the crazy citizens of Florida. Well, not all of them, okay? This is the crazy government officials in Florida. Now, if you haven't heard, Florida government rejected a proposed advanced placement course focused on African-American studies. Oh, basically, they don't want blacks to know nothing about blacks, okay, if they are not teaching it, okay? If the hunter is not allowed to tell the tale, then the lion shall not learn, all right? You know that old African proverb, until the lion tells the story, the hunter will always be the hero. Well, this is the part where they muzzle the lion, all right? Won't be no reading, writing, and roaring on their watch. Now, the one-page document appeared, uh, with well, a one-page document prepared by the Florida Department of Education says that it rejected a proposed advanced placement course because it included the study of topics like the movement for black lives, black feminism, and reparations, and it questioned the inclusion of certain black authors and historians whose writings touch on critical race theory and black communism. Hmm. Can I give you an example of a lesson they don't want taught? The state objects to the inclusion of writing by Robin D.G. Kelly, a professor of Af American history at UCLA, who warns that simply establishing safe spaces and renaming campus buildings does nothing to overthrow capitalism. She not lying. At I mean, all. That at all. I mean, those are steps in the right direction, but changing the label on poison, the holistic medicine, doesn't make it not poison. Now, Florida also said the course framework for the study of reparations has no critical perspective or balancing opinion in this lesson. I feel like y'all think I'm lying. Okay, so let's go to CBS Miami for the report, please. Governor Ron DeSantis facing widespread outrage over his administration's rejection of a new course on African-American studies in the state's high schools. In a statement released to CBS News, a spokesperson for the Department of Education said in part, quote, in its current form, the College Board's AP African-American Studies course lacks educational value mm. and is contrary to Florida law. If the course comes into compliance and incorporates historically accurate content, the department will reopen the discussion, it says. The governor was in Fort Myers today and made no mention of the decision. The course, which has been tested at 60 schools across the country, aims to expand the advanced coursework offered by the College Board into the study of the African diaspora in the U.S. College Board, the organization behind the course, responded with this statement. Like all new AP courses, AP African American Studies is undergoing a rigorous multi-year pilot phase, collecting feedback from teachers, students, scholars, and policymakers. We look forward to bringing this rich and inspiring exploration of African American history and culture to students all across the country. When has the white man ever given us historically accurate content about us? Huh? Can I tell you something? I think the act of blocking African American studies is disgusting because it literally is saying the quiet part out loud, which is simply, we don't want you Negroes knowing nothing about nothing, okay? It's a tale as old as time. Shoot the nose off the Sphinx. Don't teach black people anything except how African American history began with slavery. As long as we keep them dumb, deaf, and blind to who they are, they will never know what they can be. Oh, it's the Lion King, baby. Okay, the whole chapter of my last book, Black Privilege, is about how the Lion King was based on the history of black people in America and how when we came to Western civilization, we didn't know who we was until Rafiki woke Simba up and reminded him. And that's what this is. Okay, Rafiki may be coming in the form of AP African American Studies, and the government of Florida is not having it, okay? We're going to keep these Negroes eating bugs and singing Hakuna Matata when they know damn well it's a lot to worry about. Now, here's the thing. Back to my original point, okay? I believe the act of blocking African American Studies is disgusting, but... We can't depend on white institutions to educate us about us, okay? Teaching us about us has to be on us, all right? That should be learned in the home. Because the reality is, you're not going to hear about Malcolm X, Nat Turner, Denmark Bessie, James Baldwin, and no public schools, okay? They're going to give you some MLK Jr. with a side of Rosa Parks and that's mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. Now, Ron DeSantis spoke to why he is against the African-American AP studies. Uh, let's go to ABC 10 for the report, please. State Governor Ron DeSantis is speaking at a press conference today. He addressed the recent rejection of an African-American studies course at Florida high schools. This course on black history, what are one of, what's one of the lessons about? Queer theory. Now, who would say that an important part of black history is queer theory? That is somebody pushing an agenda on our kids. And so when you look to see they have stuff about intersectionality, abolishing prisons, that's a political agenda. 
And so we're on, that's the wrong side of the line for Florida standards. We believe in teaching kids uh, facts and how to think, but we don't believe they should have an agenda imposed on them. The governor goes on to say that he and his administration were outraged earlier this month after banning that AP course, arguing that it violates state law and, quote, lacks educational value. Now, I can agree with uh, Ron DeSantis. There shouldn't be any political agenda involved in black history. And I asked someone who is way smarter than me, what is queer theory? And they said intersectionality. You know, think studying roles, James Baldwin being, uh, you know, gay. You know, how that played a role in his life. Totally understand that. Queer theory makes perfect sense there. I love James Baldwin. You know, the panel conversations between him, uh, Bayard Rustin, and Malcolm X are incredibly insightful. But I don't feel as if they focused on identity politics the way this generation does. They were all, all black first. And mind your own business about who they sleeping with second. But that's the type of stuff you could learn by teaching the class. Okay, and you can't really teach the last 20 years of black history, you know, without BLM, which was founded by members of the queer community. So I think the difference between now and then is that Bayard Rustin, James Baldwin, they were members of the LGBTQ community, but it wasn't mentioned. But now it would be. So what do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? A classic case of the white man, white manning. Okay, this is what's been happening since we got here. All right. Always trying to erase our history. So what's the answer? Yeah, we can and should raise hell about this African-American studies class being blocked, but don't just focus on what the white man isn't allowing us to teach in his schools. Focus on what we are teaching our babies at home. Can we please let Chelsea Handler give Ron DeSantis in the Florida Department of Education the biggest hee-haw? Hee-haw, hee-haw, that is way too much Dan mayonnaise. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.